This is Mike James. Mike, could you tell me about your career? Well, I sure can. I work for the Daily Independent. It's a daily newspaper in uh, Ashland, Kentucky. Um, I'm a reporter. I cover schools mostly. Um, the, the schools in our immediate area, which is uh, mainly Boyd, Green, up Carter counties, and then other things as necessary. What would you say is the most fun part about your job? Well, uh, well, the fun part is is being able to actually get out of the office and um, go into schools and actually do stories that that involve kids as opposed to um, educational issues. Because sometimes here I am in the office and I have to write these really um, dry, complex. They're important, but but they're not all interesting to do stories about. Um, test scores and uh, accountability issues and that sort of thing. And that involves uh, getting a lot of uh, information from the state education department and pouring through it and looking at a lot of numbers that I don't really understand and then calling people at various school districts and, and, and uh, people in academia and so on and asking them, uh, what do these numbers mean? <laughs> and then trying to make sense of it and making a story out of it. So what's fun is when I get to actually go, uh, say, to your school and, and uh, do a story about things that kids are doing there and uh, actually talk to the kids uh, about what they're doing. So that's fun. So how did you become interested in the educational side of journalism? Um, well, before I was on the education beat, I was covering courts. And I really enjoyed that uh, because there were a lot of interesting things happening. I mean, uh, well, crime is interesting, and, and, and seeing the, the court process play out is really interesting. But I found that I was spending a whole lot of time uh, writing about things that they were ultimately just really pretty depressing. I mean, people killing people, people dealing drugs, people uh, abusing their, their children, that, that sort of thing. And, and so what I always say now that I'm on the school beat is I used to be spending all my time with people who were in orange jumpsuits and handcuffs, and now I'm with, with school kids, and so who can complain about that? Right. Yeah. So where did you go to school? Um, I went to uh, uh, journalism school at Ohio State uh, back in the 1980s. Uh, I don't know that Ohio State's journalism school is, is one of the talked about schools, mm -hmm. but it, it worked very well for me and, and taught me uh, just enough that I could go out and, and, and snag a job at a little newspaper and then really start learning journalism. What was your first job in journalism? Well, when I got out of school, like even back in the 1980s, when you got out of school, you just kind of wanted to find something mm -hmm. that, that used some of the skills that you that you'd learned. And uh, I didn't get a newspaper right off, uh, but I, I worked uh, at, at a at a, a, a big commercial photo lab because I was more, at that time more interested in photography. Uh, and, and then I was sending out resume after resume to, to newspapers just all over the place and, and I ended up getting my first actual newspaper job at a little paper in rural northwest Ohio. Uh, and I found it in the classifieds, the classified one ads in the newspaper, which which was even then pretty surprising because I mean not all that many newspapers advertise for journalists uh, in that fashion. They they usually have other avenues where they look for their workers. But uh, anyway, it was a it was a small newspaper in uh, a community called Kenton, uh, which is uh, a totally rural community. Uh, about 8,000 circulation. I was there for about two and a half years before I moved on, but uh, again, it was, it was a, a good way to, to start using the skills I had been introduced to in college. What are some aspirations you still have in your career? Well, 
I guess in today's newspaper climate, just staying employed <laughs> is, a, is a pretty big one because uh, uh, the newspaper industry is going through a, a huge shakeup. And whether we as an industry can adapt to the digital age and, and uh, having our online presence be our, our, our major product uh, is, is going to spell the difference between whether we survive or not as an industry. So I guess my aspiration is to, uh, to adapt along with the industry to the online world. Uh, because I'm, I'm, I would bet that as a high school student, if you read the newspaper at all, you probably don't open it up like this. You probably mm -hmm. click on it like that. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome.